everybody, it's Tuesday, and it's time for the finale of the Shadows of Christ series. Now, you might be wondering why we're ending this series of the Shadows of Christ so soon. Um, we've gone over, what, nine characters that are listed in Hebrews chapter 11, and we know there's more. Well, I gotta say the same thing that the, the, the author of the chapter said. He said in, in th verse 32, and what shall I more say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, and the prophets. This could go on forever. So he's having to wrap it up, and I'm going to wrap it up too. We can, uh, we can put a fork in this, as they say in the South. So what's the author's point in mentioning all of these great men and women of faith? Is it so that we should use them as an example, that we should also have faith like them? I don't think so. At the beginning of this, it says that these people all received a good report. In the middle of it, though, it says these all died, having not received the promises. And then he concludes it and says... And these all received a good report, but did not receive the promise. God having something better for, for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. See, the point is, is all of these people had faith, and it got them a good report, but it did not get them to receive the promise. The promise came through one man you and see, one man. So often, Hebrews chapter 11 is taught by so many people, and they say, these examples of these great people of faith, they should be our examples. We need to have faith like they had faith. We need to receive a good report. Well, the author is making it clear they received a good report, but they all died without receiving the promise. They believed in the promise, but they didn't receive it, not, be not before they died, yet they did receive it when we all received it, which was through Jesus Christ at the cross. He goes on, uh, the author goes on in chapter 12 and says, Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. That's also taught um, that this great cloud of witnesses is our friends and our loved ones who have passed on and they're, they're, they're watching us and our works of faith from heaven. No, He's still talking about these great people of faith that he just mentioned in chapter 11. He's talking about those people being a cloud of witnesses. They are bearing witness to what Jesus did. They bear witness to what happened at the cross. They saw the promise from after their death. They saw it being fulfilled on the cross. So the promise came through Jesus Christ and that author says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Now that word, that phrase, our faith, is not in the original text. The author didn't say our faith. That word our was added by the translators. It really says, to Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. See, Jesus finished faith. And for what, end, for what reason, to what end? For the perfection of all. That's what he did. So what their faith could not do, Christ's faith did. That's the summation of this entire series. What their faith couldn't do, Christ's faith did. All right, so that's the end. That's the finale. That's the finish. That's finally the finish to this series, The Shadows of Christ. I hope you enjoyed it. And click like if you liked it. Click don't click up thumbs down if you didn't like it. And Go to that little black bar on the bottom of this video and click on the YouTube thing and go straight to the YouTube channel where this plays and click those like and dislike buttons. And if you haven't subscribed already, please click the red subscribe button under the video. Have a good week.